Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is PJ, and today I'm doing something that was suggested on a couple of my videos, and I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to um, rig a Minecraft character in Blender. I'm using Blender 2.63, which uh, I think is the newest version, uh, maybe. I don't know, anyway, you can get it for free at uh, Blender.org. So, um, I'm going to be splitting this tutorial into three parts. The first one will be making the body of the character and then skinning it. The second will be doing the bones, and the third will be making the face rig. So I'm hoping that these are around ten minutes or less, just so that uh, they're not stretched out really long. And, okay, so I guess we can start now. I'm hoping that you have a basic understanding of Blender and uh, a couple things. But I will uh, explain what I'm doing most of the time, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I don't forget, um, just in case you don't know what some things do. So we can use this cube that it gives us in the startup. And this should be, should be what yours looks like. And uh, if we press 1 to go into front view, and then press 5 to go into orthographic view so that we can see the grid squares, then we have what is ahead here but it is not the right dimensions so we need to go into edit mode and we can do that by pressing tab and right here it should be set like this but uh, the vertex select but what I want you to do is change it to face select the one on the far right just so that it's easier to grab these things and uh, we can grab them individually and drag them around like that so now we need to press Z to go into wireframe mode and what I'm going to do is make each of one of these little grid squares equal one pixel on the Minecraft character. And the Minecraft character's head is 8 by 8. So right now, um, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's 20 wide. So we need to uh, take away 12. Sounds right? Yeah but what we can do is just drag it into the middle here and then go up four one two three four and to get it if it's going like this for you if it's just going like this you need to hold control so that it snaps to the grid squares so if we hold control and drag it up one two three four grid squares and then we bring this one to the middle and do the same one two three four and then same with the sides one two three four and one, two, three, four. Now if we press seven to go into top view, we notice that it is too long. So we drag it into the middle, one, two, three, four, and then bring it back so that it's even. And what you can do now is uh, press A once and then A again to select all the faces. And then hold shift and press S. And then press selection to grid just to make sure that all the sides are actually snapped onto the grid. So here we have our Minecraft head. So we can press Z to go back into solid mode and then press tab to get out of edit mode. So now we can use the head to make part of the body. We just need to make it longer because the body is 12 pixels long. So if we select this square and then press shift and then D and then just left click and then hold control and drag it down so that it's snapped to just underneath the head. Now if we press tab and then Z, we are back in edit mode. And since this is 4 and it needs to be 12, we need to move it up 2 pixels so that it's 12 long in total. So 1, 2, and 1, 2. And the body is also only 4 blocks thick, so if we press 7 and go into top view, we need to drag this into the middle and go 1, 2, and then line it up while holding control so that it snaps to the grid. And just in case you didn't hold control for a part of it, you can just press A8 and then uh, Shift S, selection to grid. Okay, so that's our body. You press Tab to get out of that. And now we need to line it up by holding control and dragging it down. So if we go back into solid mode, we can see that we have the head and the body of the character. Now we can use the body to make the arms. I'm never actually making a new block to, to do this. So Shift D left click drag it over here press tab then Z and the arms are 4 by 4 by 4 no by 4 they're 12 long by 4 by 4 like that so we need to drag this to the middle 1 2 3 4 no it's 1 2 sorry 
one, two, so that we get it in the middle, which is four wide. And if we go to top view, it's already four by four. So we can press tab to get out of edit mode, and then line it up while holding control so that it snaps to the grid. Now if we just press shift D, we can hold control and drag this guy over here, because all the arms and the legs are the same length, um, 12 by 4 by 4. Uh, I don't know dimensions very well, I'm not sure if it's length or width or whatever. But now that we've dragged them all into place by holding control and copying them, we have a full Minecraft character's body. So there it is right there. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, so now we need to connect him so that it's not just separate parts like this. So if we hold shift with one of them selected and then select all the other parts, and I like to select the body last just so that the swivel points around the body. Once you've selected all of them while holding shift and right clicking, you hold control and then you press J. And so now we have a full Minecraft character that can't be um, messed with each individual part. So now we need to give him a skin and if we go into this right column here and go over to the materials tab he may already have a material or it may just look like this in which case he doesn't have one and then you need to just press new material and it'll give you one right there. And it doesn't matter about any of these right now we can deal with those later. So if you come into the textures tab, which is right next to the materials tab, there may already be a texture there. Again, I'm not sure. My settings might be different. But if there's not, then just press new texture. And right here where it says type, it should be at clouds or something else. And you need to change that to image or movie. And now if we go down here to image, we can press open. And then we just find the skin that we want. Um... I'm not sure. I'll just try the Steve skin. Yes, so this is the Steve skin I made for this tutorial. What I did to it already was made all of the parts where he has skin one color. Just so that uh, when we make the face rig, if you open his mouth, sometimes the textures will stretch. Well, actually, they'll always stretch. But it's just really annoying because they stretch and it doesn't look very natural. But if you make it all one color, then it you can't even tell it's stretching. So now that we have our image, we need to go down here to image sampling and uncheck mipmap and unchecked interpolation and here at the filter we need to select a box and what I also like to do is right here at the filter size I like to drag this all the way down to 0 0.10 and now when we go into mapping the coordinates need to be UV and that should be good just like that so now that we have the actual skin on the character we can't see it or anything because we haven't UV mapped it to this actual mesh. So what you need to do is press tab and then press A and then press A and once you have everything selected hold control and then uh, press the right arrow button three times. And this will bring you to this side being the UV image editor and this side being 3D view. If there's a sidebar here, you need to just press N, and then that'll hide that. And if there's one here, just press T, and it'll hide that. So what you need to do is, in this side of the window, you need to press U with all his body selected, and then press Unwrap. And this will unwrap, unwrap, unwrap the mesh, the mesh, <laughs> can't even speak, um, onto the UV image editor. Now where you see this little image logo, you need to click that and then go up to steve.png and what that'll do is put the uh, steve png in there so that it's unwrapped onto there so now if we go into front view on this side uh, we can see that we haven't assigned where the face should be on the actual character and if you don't see anything but the body being totally gray then all you need to do is press n and then go down here where it says display just like that and then this box will be unchecked what you need to do is check it so that it says textured solid. Okay, so now what we can do is we need to select his front face and then go back to the UV image editor and right click to drag these little dots and we need to drag it so that it fits over his face just like this and then we drag the other one to the other top corner other one to the bottom and just like this lining up his face and then what you can do, the pick, you might have done it so that it looks like this, just crook it off a bit. Well, everyone will do it like that. 
you need to just press A and then A and then Shift S and select it to pixels. It's kind of like snapping it to a grid except snapping it to the pixels. And now if we look at our 3D view, we realize that his head is upside down. So come back into the image editor and press rotate or R and then type in 180 and that'll do his head a full flip. What you can also do is press R and then hold control so that you can just go like this so that it just snaps to the pixels and rotate it manually. Now another problem you might notice is that his face is extremely blurry and this happens on a couple other rigs that you can download off the internet. Um, I've tried this on them but it, it doesn't work for some reason. I think the image is too small or something. But what you need to do to fix this is you need to go file and then click on user preferences. Once you're in user preferences you need to go to the system tab and then where it says MIP maps right here in OpenGL you need to unclick that and that will stop MIP maps from happening in the 3D view. So now we can just exit out of that and now if we come back to here we can notice that his face is perfectly nice and straight pixels and everything. So I'm not going to go through myself skinning the entire Steve character because that would take a very long time and skinning is one of the more easier things to do. So I'll just do a couple more. If you select the side of his face here now by right clicking on it, you can just drag these things with the right click button over to the spots where they need to be and then snap them in place with um, uh, control S. So AA, shift S, select it to pixels and then we rotate while holding control so that it is facing right side up. So I'm just going to give a quick preview of what that looks like. Press 0 by going to go into camera mode and I'm just going to bring the camera over here so that we can see his face and then press F12 to render that out. So as we can see he looks very beautiful and perfect and as he it looks like I missed a pixel when I was editing his skin, but I'll fix that later, if at all. But yeah, that's basically how you skin the character. It's really straightforward. I'll do one more, and then I'll just come back when I'm done. So yeah, it looks really good. It's nice and crisp and sharp, and there's no white lines there. That's why I turned the filter down to point, point 10. So just press escape to get out of that, and then go back into front view. And I'm going to click my character again and do the front of his body. So we just select his body like this and do the exact same thing. Drag these little guys over the part of the texture that it needs to be at. Just like so. And then AA, Shift S, selected to pixels. And then R180 to rotate it 180 degrees so that it's perfect. And if we render that really quick, we'll be able to see his neck. Yep, looks really good. So just press escape to get out of that. And so now, something that might happen is, um, for example, I'm not going to... Uh, you may have done this. You may have dragged the pixels. You may have dragged these little draggers over the pixels and then snapped it, but his body might be sideways like that. What you need to do is then just rotate it 90 degrees and then line up the pixels so that it works out because it can't be on its side. Select them to the pixels and then rotate that 180 degrees and it's looking good again. So that should be all that you need to know for skinning. As far as I know, it's quite straightforward. So I'm going to come back when I'm done and then um, see what I need to do from there. One quick thing I need to add while I was in the middle of doing this. Um, I got down his head and then realized when I went to do his body, you might not be able to see the side of his body so that you can skin it but what you can do is select the side like so hold control and then uh, drag it over so that the sides visible and if you're experienced with blender you've probably figured that out by now but i just thought that i'd mention it for anyone that's a bit newer so i will finish skinning him now and be back in a minute okay so i'm back and as you can see i have fully skinned every part of his body and it only took me around ten minutes so it's not a very hard process and it shouldn't take you that long. One thing that you can do, and it's probably a bad time to tell you now just in case you wanted to try it because it's too late, you can select by holding shift multiple parts of the body and then just do them at the same time. So if they were enlarged like this, you could uh, 
go like this and drag them down, but you'd have to do it twice, so it's uh, kind of irritating. But I guess it's faster if you can do it that way. You might have noticed that I had to change a lot of his body parts so that I could see other parts of him. Sounds really creepy, but it's true. So I'm just going to drag those back into place while holding control to make sure that everything's still snapped. Do, 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 drag it over. Oop. Okay, so that looks really good. And one thing that you can do is press 1 to go into front view and then press AA while still in edit mode. Then hold shift and press S and says selection to grid. Just so that you know that he's still snapped to the grid and everything is good. So now if you press tab to go out of edit mode, then 0 to go in camera mode. Let's just zoom out so that we can uh, take a better look at him right now. And then press control and then press the right arrow four times and that'll take you back into normal view. But what you might notice is that you can't see anything on him. You need to do the same thing as you needed to do in the other mode. Press N, go to display, and then down here where it says textured solid, you need to check that box, and everything will be fine. And another thing, in this world tab, when you render something, uh, everything might be extremely dark except for the light that comes from this light right here. So if you go into this world tab, and then go down to environmental lighting, it will be unchecked like that, and you'll end up with something like this and we don't want that so if you just check the environmental lighting and then render it out we have a perfectly in proportion beautiful looking sharp steve skin and yep yeah, so that's basically all i wanted to cover through this episode so i'm hoping it wasn't more than ten minutes i won't know yet it probably was though so i hope this helped um, if you have any questions you can put them in the comments section and look forward to the next part which will be making the bones and making him be able to move with the bones so again if you have any questions or something that I'm doing wrong because this is my first tutorial um, just mention it in the comments section so thank you for watching and stay tuned for part two